Hi guys, um, I was just sitting here and um, kind of wondering what this full moon um, coming up is going to represent. Um, and um, I know that for myself it's uh, something different, um, the same but different because I am at a different part of my journey, just like there are people who have been awakening um, for even longer than I have, they're at a different level as well. So what's going to take place for myself and for yourself are two different things. So the insight and the intuition that I have gotten towards the full moon um, is going to be different from what you will experience, but yet the message is the same. And I am not certain if you know, but this is going to be the full wolf moon. And it's not only a full moon, it is a lunar eclipse, um, full lunar, full moon lunar eclipse, um, something like that anyway. So um, we have two of those energies coming together. Um, and so I had to do some research on this because, you know, I don't, um, I'm unable to read, you know, the stars and things like that. I don't have that gift my gift is the gift of sight and knowing and it comes in messages for myself that I have to um, decipher and again what I get out of it is completely different yet the message is still the same so the power of the, the wolf full moon serves as a guide for everyone to trust in their instincts and pay attention to what they're telling you um, and the wolf symbolizes intelligence, loyalty, freedom, and social connections, and demonstrating them in a more balanced manner. Um, so this month is all about a spiritual awakening, but so is this entire year. It's a fabulous year. Um, it's going to be a great year for everybody. Um, and this is coming into a power with a potent full moon lunar eclipse which is this Friday. And it also resides in the, the um, zodiac sign of Cancer. And from what I have read is that this hasn't taken place or it didn't at all last year. Um, and so this is something huge <laughs> from what I understand. <laughs> um, so let's see, um, this full moon energy will be strong and powerful with waves of emotional charged energy. This will help everyone to be inspired to release what is not needed, to shed, and to let go. And eclipses are important points in the year as they are believed to bring events aligned with our soul path and our soul destiny. I am looking forward to this because I have already had glimpses of what my soul's path and soul's destiny is um, probably about two weeks before the end of the year even um, um, came. So I'm excited about it. And um, here is something I want to put out there is that when you are given insight, intuition about what you should be doing with your life um, or what your purpose is in life, I want you to hold on to that. Hold on to that um, thought, emotion, but also keep in mind that when you actually have that idea to the time that it actually arrives to you, or, you know, like it's, hey, it's right here and you have, there's no turning back. It could be a couple of weeks. It could be a couple of months. It could be a couple of years. It all depends on how much work you're doing and how much resistance you're putting into it. Um, how open are you? And that's something that I tell you to, you guys always to be, be open. Don't have the expectation. And again, don't have an attachment, attachment to um, your past, um, an attachment to an idea of how everything is going to be. When you have attachments, you can only have one way. When you are open to whatever comes to you by just being open to love, being open to that emotion that um, something great and exciting is coming to your doorstep and into your life and into your purpose and it will and it won't just be one thing 
it'll be several things and that's why you won't you shouldn't be limited on what your purpose is because your purpose can have so many directions um like for myself i can see energy i can um i have the visions i have knowing intuition i'm able to write um i'm able to speak about things and i know there's more i'm being open to more whatever it is and i have voiced it i have voiced it and i i'm open and i want more whatever the universe wants to bring to me i'm ready for and but that's another thing you have to be ready for it and if you are already voicing what it is that you want um, and you feel it in your heart the universe god is going to prepare you for that and it's going to give you lessons it's going to see what are you going to let go of what are you um ready to receive and however you respond to what you are receiving is going to give you what you want or not what you want uh, that's why shadow work is so important um, that's why healing and I call it healing that's why healing is so important that's why letting go is so important um, when you can go through life without having a reaction um, and I have work to do with that as well on certain areas of my life and um, it's being shown to me the past few days uh, when we can do that and eliminate our reactions to anything, there is a great power that's bestowed upon you. Okay, so um, on this lunar eclipse, the universe opens a portal of energy that allows it to bless us and help us release something that we weren't quite quite ready to let go of in order to keep us moving forward and accelerating higher. There is always a hidden aspect of who we are that. Uh, will manifest when we least expect it. Our, the imprint of our trauma, whether it's our own personal trauma or our ancestors' personal trauma, will always manifest in some way, shape, or form by how we respond to life itself. I love now understanding that. How we respond to life itself tells us our wounds inside. Uh, while the eclipses advance our soul journey, our human selves are often left to play catch up, which is why they can sometimes be a jarring experience. You know, so energy is always coming down, regardless of our knowing, understanding of it. It is always radiating down from the heavens and out from the earth and into our being at all times. Um, and it takes time for from the time that it enters into us, our atmosphere, or into us, into our aura, whatever it is, every single thing into our bodies, and into our emotions, into our heart, until, waha, that light bulb goes off, and we're like, oh, okay, I understand. Um, it takes time for it to process. And again, the more healing that you do, the more flow can take place within your body uh, to give you a quicker understanding about every single thing. Um, so that is um, an example is, you know, like for myself, I know I can feel energy in my body when it's moving and it's also called the Kundalini energy. Um, I just call it light, I guess, you know, the light moves, it heals, it regenerates, and it uh, gives um, in all sorts of ways. And when you get to a certain point, you will be aware of this movement within you. And uh, when you aren't aware of energy, of light, what it actually physically does to us, um, we experience pain. And that's the limit. That's the limitations. Um, that's the reasons why we are limited and um, become the victim because we don't understand what light is doing to us through our body. Light is always trying to enter into us to transform us. Um, it does it automatically. 
but we don't understand it and we don't allow it in because we are afraid to actually see and feel with love. Um, and each of us will experience the Cancer Lunar Eclipse energies differently, but this will be a heightened time where we'll all feel called to release and let go of something. Um, and this is a wonderful time to howl at the moon. Ha ha ha. <laughs> and you don't have to be outside to do this. And you don't even have to see this moon. We might have clouds on Friday. It's always raining or cloudy, it seems, on the days that uh, I want to observe. Um, like for that the shooting star, the very first shooting star that we had a few days ago or last weekend. I was really looking forward to going outside and... Um, and checking it out but what do we have rain and clouds but oh well it is what it is this um full wolf wolf moon is like any other moon but just very strong it's a lunar eclipse focuses your um, attention on relationships your home and your family a total lunar eclipse has an even strong influence on your private life um let's see um this allows you to take an objective and balanced look at your close relationships uh, because you will be in touch with your own needs and intentions. You will clearly see any relationship imbalance that's causing disharmony. So, you know, basically, you know, this is the beginning of the year and um, it's a high energy month, one, because we've had um, the uh, um, shooting star aspect of it that have that took place in the first month of this 2020 year um, which is a new decade as well so if everything is kind of like amplified um, stronger more intense and um, I think it it's going to be a time that you need to really understand uh, that if you aren't healing it's going to be uh, very difficult and just like what a wolf represents, you know, they, by their, them howling, I guess, you know, they're, they're releasing kind of a thing. You know what I mean? It's, um, it's as if they're, they're screaming at the, at the moon and allowing things to just come out of them and let them go. Um, so maybe you can do a little bit of hollering and <laughs> let these emotions that are trying to come out, come out. We can't suppress things and expect them not to ever come back up again. Suppressing and um, denying ourselves of the things that by right are ours to feel, to experience, and then to set free, you know, leaves us struggling in all kinds of ways. So, um, uh, so basically, um, it's just important to listen to what is coming up during this time and then set that intention of release um, and great things will come into us into our lives into our purpose um, when we acknowledge um, you can't receive if you are in denial about what's going on with your own life your own existence that's the point that's the huge message I guess is be vigilant of how you are feeling currently and try to understand why you're feeling that way and let it go um, every time we can let go of something the universe sees that God sees that what we're willing to let go of to be detached from and that leaves a whole lot more room for openness this is Christy much love health and healing your way I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.